Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're back in the bathroom because we're doing bathroom type stuff and things. I got this uh, stuff sent out to me that's supposed to help you fill in your bald head if you've got, uh, you know, kind of nothing on top here like I do. And, uh, but it can also be apparently used for beards. And so I just wanted to try this stuff out. I got a 15 day trial for free and uh, I just wanted to see how it would work. Now I watched a couple of videos on this and there are some recommendations that say, hey, when you're putting it in, you're gonna wanna put some moisturizing cream on your beard or on the top of your head just so this stuff sticks a little bit more. Uh, I can't imagine myself actually ever using this stuff, but I thought I would show people that are interested uh, in it to see how it would work. To me, it feels like it would probably wash out in the rain and it probably wouldn't last very long. I'm the type of person that my hands are always in my non-existent hair and in my beard and I would just strip it off uh, in my hands. But if you can resist the urge, then this might be something for you. This one is the Go Fiber and it is out of the UK. And uh, so this is a 15 day supply, uh, supposedly. Uh, I tried it out on my hairy arms first just to make sure I don't get any kind of rash or anything like that. So now I'm safe to go into the get ready to use this mode. So I'm going to start off with some, let's find some, what we got here? We got some, we got some St. Ives here. So I'm going to put some of that, uh, maybe we'll start with a beard and see how it does in, you know, filling in some of these patches over here. So I'm going to put some moisturizing lotion into my beard. Apparently that helps it stay in there better. And we're going to see what difference it makes. And then I'm going to put some in the top of my head here too. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it too. Okay, so you can see this side compared to this side. I feel like this is where you can kind of just take something that has a bit of a, an edge to it and create some straight lines. And then you probably want to just get rid of the excess here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of pushing down these fibers a little bit to create that kind of line over there. I mean, this gives you kind of a a general idea of what it could do to kind of like the the thickness of your beard hair if you were to use this stuff I mean like I'm no professional when it comes to this stuff I'm literally doing this for the first time on the camera for you guys So I don't typically grow hair in these areas. So with this powder stuff, it kind of just like looks like a little bit more filled in. Actually, this kind of kind of like the way this looks. Cause I don't normally uh, grow hair there. I would have to put a hell of a lot more for that to uh, look a little bit more natural. I mean, you can definitely see that the beard looks a lot more thicker than it did before we put this stuff in. So there, I cleared a bunch of that stuff off. So now it just kind of looks a little bit cleaner and it looks like it might actually be my natural beard. Um, so now, I'm going to do the top of my head. So this is what the top of my head looks like right now. We're going to load this guy up. Okay. So now this is what the top of my head looks like with the powder in. Compared to what you saw before. And it looks like we've still got some bald stuff here to get rid of. And there you go. So it looks like the top of my head is pretty much fully filled in there. I actually look like I've got a full head of hair now for the first time in 10 years. 
Now, of course, you want to get rid of all this excess stuff that's kind of on your forehead and stuff like that creates some sort of a semblance of a of a hairline. I mean, I'm all professional with this stuff. Again, this is I'm doing it for the first time, but I mean <laughs> I'm just not used to seeing myself with hair. I know I can grow a, a bigger, fuller beard uh, as time goes on, so I'm, you know I definitely wouldn't use something like this for the beard. But it is kind of cool to look at. I mean, it does, I don't know, to me it does look kind of natural. I mean, I went with a dark brown. My hair is like a dark brown black, and it seems to have blended in quite well. Let me know what you guys think. Would you use this product? It is It is pretty powdery over here, so I feel like if, if I got, like, look how much is coming off on my finger there just from, just from kind of touching it there. So it's definitely not the kind of thing that would last. You're not going to go on a first date and go swimming with this. So uh, really, <laughs> uh, I, I guess it just depends on how important this whole hair thing is for you. For me right after this, I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to wash all this crap out of my hair. And I'm just going to do what I usually do and shave the top of my head. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Perfect.